Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Savannah if you're new here and I do videos on Tuesdays and Fridays. For this Friday's video, I wanted to do a look I've had in my mind for a little bit, which is um, just packing like a black matte shade all over the lid. Um, maybe attempting to do a wing, but I don't usually do wings, so I don't know. And then putting on top of that this shade from Terra Moon Cosmetics, which is Europa. And it's this gorgeous, I don't think you're even going to be able to really tell in the camera it's this like white translucent base it's not focusing with um like this really pretty pink reflect to it and almost a little bit of a blue it's probably not coming through on the camera just in the pan but it is gorgeous it is one of Terra Moon Cosmetics um one of their like chunkier shades that they have so they have a few different textures um to their shimmers but this is one of the ones that's a little bit chunkier and flakier, but you can, you know, like blend it out and smooth it out and everything. Um, but anyways, I've been wanting to do this look for a little bit because uh, out of all these Terra Moon Cosmetics shades that I purchased, which I love all of them, I was surprised that a couple of the pink ones actually ended up being my favorite, which I knew I would love them, but I didn't think that they would be a favorite um, out of all of them uh, but I just love a lot of the lighter like special duochrome type shades multi chrome shades because I just feel like they're so like light and reflective and bright and they almost make you feel kind of like like a fairy princess type situation and it's so pretty and I love this shade um, I actually love all of the pink shades that I have and I had a hard time picking which one but I think Europa is the one I want to go with. So if you like the video, I would love if you subscribe and do all the YouTube things. And yes, that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to take the black from the Blend Bunny Cosmetics All Done Up palette. It's a super pigmented black. And I'm just going to start packing that all over the lid. I'm going to use this um, Luxie 227 blending brush. But it's kind of uh, like tapered. It's good to like pack product on. Um, so I'm just going to use that and I'm going to start packing this black, zoom in a little bit more, onto the lid. And yeah, I'm not sure if I want to attempt to also do a wing shape. I don't know. I don't do wings. Um, just not really in my skill set and I don't attempt them enough to practice. <laughs> So I probably won't do a wing, but this would be cool, especially if you used, instead of a matte like shadow, if you used a um, like a liquid liner type situation and filled it in, like a pot liner or something, and you drew up the shape, that would be cool, especially if you used, that would be really good to do a liner with as well. It's a little bit more precise than just using black shadow, which... This is going to look crazy until the look is finished. So stick with me here. So I'm literally just dipping in, picking up a little product at a time and packing it on. And I'm going slow because I don't wanna to get too crazy and accidentally blow this out too far. Um, so I'm just doing a little bit at a time. hit the outer corner in a few different ways because you know aging have a few fine lines out there that if I don't hit the brush just right there will be product missing from the side <laughs> which I might take a slightly smaller brush to make sure the outside there is in there okay. and then I'm gonna take just a tapered fluffy brush another blending brush and just kind of buff the edges just a little bit so this is blended and smoked out a little bit so it's not just like a harsh 
black line. I wanted to do this look because I feel like this shade will look super cool on top of a black. I think it will really transform it and just make it extra special. So, but I know, I look in the camera, I look crazy at the moment. Okay, just kind of blended the edges. So that is, you know, blended on the edge. Doesn't look too harsh or anything. That looks nice. Okay, now we will do the same on this side and try to make sure the shape is the same, which is just really following my eye shape. You know, it didn't really do any special stuff, so it shouldn't be too bad. The only trouble I have with having to match is, like I've said before, if you're new here, I've said this in quite a few videos, um, my eyes are slightly different shaped because this eye has a slightly different crease to it, so it makes it so the shadow looks different. Um, when I put it on, and like even if I place it all in the exact same way, this eye will look different, and I usually have to end up um, placing the shadow differently instead of matching it to try to get the eyes to actually match and look the same. The way the crease is on this side, like you can see shadow more like up above the crease, whereas this side it's more hidden. So I have to really be careful and play with it, which I don't know, once I blend that out, I might have to try to take a little bit of that off because I might have already went a little too high for this side. Even though it's the same placement, but that that dumb fold makes it that much different. It really bothers me. I like this eye shape better and I always like the way my eyeshadow looks on this side and this eye better. Um, so that's always a frustrating part of this process. Let me do some blending and see if I can have these look here and I'm just hitting the edge of that black I'm not going lower and blending any of the other product it's just the edge slowly okay let's see I feel like I need a little bit of product I'm going to take my smaller brush to apply it like right here, it looks like there's some missing. Oh, almost dipped into the wrong shade. This is always a process doing looks like this because you have to take time to build it up and then you have to blend it out and then you have to make sure they're even in shape and then you have to clean it up because it's intense looking. <laughs> I 
I would kind of like to see here. I don't know, I have like a little dot of something right there on my skin. Like old mascara or something. Okay. I feel like this side looks like it's a little bit more blown out. So I'll just take my finger and kind of wipe up some of the product that's further blown out. Okay, let's see. I think those look about even, but they look a little different. But once I put the shimmer on, I don't think you'll be able to see that they look different because the shimmer is going to go pretty much everywhere. So I think that will help it to look the same. And if it doesn't, I can always attempt to, after the shimmer is on, kind of see where it doesn't look the same and blend it or clean up a little bit more. But see, like, again, this side just looks better to me. Looks more blended. This side almost looks like it's not blended here, but that's like shading from my eye. Um, that's just my eye because every shadow always looks like that on this side. Like it always looks like I have this one patch that's not blended and that's just my eye. Some type of veining or shading right there that I have always does that and it really bothers me. So my one side I think definitely looks better, but I think they pretty much look the same at this point. It's good enough. Okay. I'm not going for quite perfection here. So now I'm going to take your rope, but I'm just going to take it on my finger. Like I said, this is a, one of their chunkier shades. You can kind of see... You can see that it's got like more chunks to it. And I'm just going to start tapping that on. <sighs> I knew this would look so cool on a black face. Oh my gosh. And I'm not being super precise. I'm using my finger to try to make sure it doesn't really go crazy. Um, I'm kind of making sure it stays like in the crease at the highest however with my eye shape it will naturally kind of put product a little bit above the crease because that's just what my eye shape does Ooh, this is so cool it's like a grungy fairy princess i love it okay Oh, that looks so awesome. I knew that would look cool. That really pretty, like, Barbie pink. But it almost has a slight, like, purple color to it. Oh, yeah. That's stunning. Okay. Now the same for the other side. Just picking up a little at a time. Just so that way it doesn't get too out of hand or messy. Like it just did right there. <laughs> I'll have to clean that up. Okay. So you can still see like the smoked out black, but then it's like, bam, 
gorgeous shifty and you can kind of see like the black coming through because it is a translucent base for this one but then you have that gorgeous like purpley pink shift uh, oh that's so pretty okay i'm gonna go off camera i'm gonna clean up and i'm going to finish like my makeup everywhere else and put on mascara and everything and then i will come back and we will look at the finished look okay we are back and the look is complete my base is all done i did a really light pink blush to kind of go with the light pink shimmer and just to lighten it up and kind of went light on the face just because the eyes are so like dark and dramatic but with that pop of fun i think it looks really cute um i really like how it turned out i definitely want to do this same style but with the different shimmers from um terra moon and the pastel roses uk because i have you know um single shadows from both of those brands and i really would like to do this where i do a black base and i do this same look but with each individual shimmer which would take me a minute because i have over maybe even over 30 or around 30 individual shimmers between the two companies but i just think it turned out so cool and it looks so pretty and it's like grungy but with the pink it kind of makes you feel like a grungy like princess fairy type situation i think this shimmer looks so cool on the black base it has that like purpley pink shift to it and sparkle and i think it's so pretty so we will zoom in i'll show you the look a little bit more up close and everything else that i used on my face i will list in the description box down below and then we are all done so zooming in crouch down a little bit so we have that black from blend bunny just built up and slightly smoked out into the crease and then when i was cleaning up um it naturally was able to kind of like create this little wing so i didn't even have to really do anything it just did it itself which was very nice this side looks a little more pronounced this side did look like that but must have got covered up <laughs> oh well anyway so this is the look with the black base built up and then europa from terra moon cosmetics all over the lid i think it's so pretty i love the lower lash line blank just because i feel like it would look too much like too heavy like too much if i put something on the lower lash but i think it looks really cool the inner corner i put europa in the inner corner but i tapped that on top of one of the other pink shades that has like a green flip to it so it's a pink green flip um, i'm not sure what the name is i will list it in the description box down below but yeah that is one of the pink shades i have from terra moon but it has like a green flip to it not sure if you can really see it in the camera um and then i tapped a little bit of europa on top of it to try to pull it a little bit more pink because the green flip was really coming through but that is the look i think it looks so pretty i really love it it's so fun ah <sighs> Yeah, it would be fun to wear this like in a night out or something, you know, a little bit grungy, but then you have that fun, bright pop of shifty color. But yeah, that's the look. I hope you guys like it. And yeah, I will be back next week. I don't know, maybe I'll make this a series where I do this exact look, but I do a different shimmer every single time until we get through every single one I have. Hmm. I'll debate on that and maybe think about it and maybe I will do that as a series. We'll see. All right. I'll see you guys next week. Thanks. Bye.